I'm Dr. Drew Warnick, and I'm the Surgical Director of All Sports Medicine at All Children's Hospital. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon with special training in pediatric and adolescent sports medicine. In this video, we are going to discuss slipped capital femoral epiphysis. Slipped capital femoral epiphysis is an unusual disorder of the hip. For reasons that are not well understood, the ball at the upper end of the femur slips off. This is due to weakness of the growth plate and often develops during periods of accelerated growth shortly after the onset of puberty. The cause of slipped capital femoral epiphysis is unknown. It is two to three times more common in males and a large number of patients are overweight. People with slipped capital femoral epiphysis usually have a history of several weeks or months of hip or knee pain and often have a limp. Sometimes the adolescent will be unable to bear weight on the affected leg. We will examine your hip with specific tests to help diagnose slipped capital femoral epiphysis. X-rays or magnetic resonance imaging may be needed to help identify this condition. For slipped capital femoral epiphysis, non-operative treatment is not an option. The femoral head can continue to slip off the femoral neck and lead to destruction of the hip joint if surgical treatment is not given immediately. Most likely, a child with slipped capital femoral epiphysis will be admitted to the hospital for treatment. For small slips, treatment includes fixing the femoral head in place with a screw to prevent any additional slipping of the femoral head. For large slips that severely limit hip motion and function, the hip can be dislocated and the femoral head can be repositioned on the neck and held in place with screws. After surgery, the child will be on crutches for weeks to months. The child is followed at regular intervals to ensure that healing has occurred. And remember, stay healthy, play safely, and most importantly, have fun.